Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the Love Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us improve our videos. With the Ector Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. That's your slam! That's the dump! Hi guys, so I saw this comment in the comments section. Love to max, so I ask everyone guys, love fruit or spider fruit to max? And most of the replies said, love fruit to max. So are you ready? Let's go! Love fruit to max. But guys, are you aware that I already made a level 1 to 700 noob to pro? This is a continuation, but don't worry, I will just make the first C faster. Which means in the first parts of the video, we will be getting hearts, okay? Okay, so let's start. First off, Z skill, heart shot, guys. And this one is good in terms of damage but it will knock the enemies away so not so good for grinding but we have no other choice <laughs> anyway guys grinding here is easy everyone can do it target level here is level 15 okay so after that we are going towards the fountain city so wall strat is our strategy here with the galley pirates and make sure to last hit with love fruit okay the z skill heart shot there you go we will unlock the x skill cupid zone this one's a lot better compared to the Z-Skill. Guys, we'll leave this area at level 60. Moving on to the next island, the Desert. First target here is the Desert Bandits. We're gonna grind here until level 75. After that, next stop, the Desert Officers. Target level here is level 90. Okay, so after this, moving on, Frozen Village. Make sure to go to the cave first, buy everything the ability teacher sells. After that, head to the Snow Bandits. Stay here until level 105. After that, we're gonna start server hopping Yeti until level 130. So far, I think the grinding here is easy, right? Okay, so next up, the Marine Fortress. Make sure to head to the right side tower to buy the Black Cape. After that, Vice Admiral until level 220. Guys, just do a uh, wall strat here. That will be really easy. We're gonna unlock the F skill, Flamingo Ride. You can use the skills while riding it. And I think that is really OP. Next island is the prison. First target is the warden at level 220. We will unlock the sea skill, irresistible attraction. So now we have three skills to damage the enemy. Chief warden will be unlocked level 230. Again, guys, you can do wall strat with all these bosses. Swan will be unlocked at 240. So continue killing bosses until you reach level 350 in this island. Next up, magma village. Magma admiral is our target until level 425. So if you notice, we've been doing server hop since Yeti, right? Okay, so here are the stats. I'm going to show it to you. Melee, 225 defense, 235 block fruits, 815. Next up, the underwater city. Our target here is the boss again, the Fishman Lord. So just lure him and do wall strat. Most of our skills are long range, so there are no problems in getting hit. Okay, so again, server hop here until level 500. After that, we are heading towards the Skylands. Target here is the Whisper. We're gonna grind here until level 625. We'll unlock our V skill, the best of friend though. My favorite skill of the love fruit. Now our skills are complete. Time to head to the Fountain City and defeat Gully Pirates until level 775. Yes, we're gonna skip other quests here because this is the easiest quest to finish. There you go. After that, make sure to do the prison quest. Defeat Admiral, Ice Admiral. There you go. Best of friend though versus him easy <laughs> after that head to the middle town and we are heading to the second C. so in the second C, target is the swan pirates one combo is enough p skill x skill and z skill you don't even need to use the best of friendo so we're gonna grind here until level 925 after that we are heading towards the green zone so here we're only going to defeat the boss fajita Guys, make sure to always use your V skill, okay? Best of friend though. To that, our target will become the target of Fajita. This will be a free hit for us. There you go. Again, one more clip. There you go. Very easy. So guys, we're gonna serve her up here and grind until level 1000. There you go. So guys, here are the stats. Melee defense, 500. Blocks for 2000. Next up, Snow Mountains. 
Guys, remember the Swan Pirates? Strategy here is the same with the Snow Troopers. Very easy. Grinding here will stop at level 1150. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna show you the stats again. There you go, Max. Blocks Fruit. Melee Defense 500. Next up, Hot and Cold. Our target here is my favorite boss in the second C, and that is Smoke Admiral. We're gonna grind here until 1 to 50, yes, because he's so easy to defeat. That is why we're gonna do server hop here. Guys, make sure to use your best friend, <laughs> your best of friend though, to make things easier. There you go. Okay, so after grinding here, again at level 1250, next stop is the cursed ship. Our only target here is the ship deck hands. Why? Because again, they're easy to defeat. That's number one. Number two, they're near the quest giver. And you can do wall strat here. We are leaving this area at level 1350. Boom. Okay, so after that, next up, Ice Castle. Target here, the Arctic Warriors. So guys, we're gonna grind here until level 1400. Just 50 levels from here. There you go. And after that, the Ice Admiral is our target. Guys, Listen, this is the final mob that we are going to defeat in the second C. Why? Because the Forgotten Island mobs is not a good matchup for our fruit. Yes. So we're gonna stay here again at the level 1500 and I hope you understand. <laughs> we're gonna skip the whole Forgotten Island. Make sure to do the Coliseum quest. Here are the stats. Almost max with Bloss Fruit. Guys, beats one, right? It is part of the quests. There is one, there you go. Use your best friend though. Also, you're gonna fight Indra. There you go. So after this one, we are going to head to the green zone and find Captain, Mr. Captain at the port. Here it is, guys. After that, welcome to the third sea. We're going to keep grinding. So for our first target, the Pirate Millionaires, guys, this is the hardest mob here. I'm telling you this is the hardest. Why? Because of their continuous attacks. But don't worry. I'm showing you now how to defeat them, use your skills, and use your best of friend for them to focus on him. After that, that will be a free hit. Guys, listen, we are going to grind here until reach level 1675. We're gonna skip the pistol billionaires and smoke. And listen, all the mobs in the Hydra Island except for one. Anyways, here are the stats first, Blocks Fruits Max. Next target stat is the defense, okay? And now we are heading to the Hydra Island. Target here is Island Empress only. Yes, you can do wall strat here, guys. I'm telling you, it's very easy. Just make sure to create distance so that you won't get hit. But for me, just use your best of friend, though, because that is a free hit. There you go, again. He is fighting your best friend, and you're attacking her while she's focusing on your best of friend, though. Okay. There you go. See that, guys? It's very convenient, right? That's why they really increased the price of this fruit. There you go. Okay, so one more time. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. He's attacking our friend. But if our friend is strong enough, we'll still get experience. So we're gonna leave this area at level 1750. So someone's attacking us. Wait, here are the stats. And this is the dude that's attacking us. Oh, yes. CDK. So this is an out. <laughs> Next stop, the Great Tree. Kill the Admirals, our target. Guys, this boss has no aerial attacks. So just use your V skill for him to get busy and free hit. Go. We're gonna do free hit here. Guys, as you can see, I'm telling you the hard part is already done. And that is the port town, right? The pirate millionaires. So there you go. Just keep on grinding here. But guys, you still need to be patient. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna stay here until level 1800. And after that, wait, I'm gonna show you the stats first. Here it is, Max Black's Fruit. Defense 2050, melee 900, deck stop, floating turtle. Target, Fishman Captains, another easy grind here. Target is 1975, there you go. After that, we are moving to the Haunted Castle. Target here, Reborn Skeletons. Our strategy will be the same with the mobs. There you go, use your V skill, Z, X, and C. And that's it. Again, update on the stats. Here you go, Max Defense Block Fruits. All the stats will go to melee. Next up, Sea of Treats. First mob, Pina Scouts. Focus on using your C and X skill. Avoid using your Z skill because your enemies will be knocked back. Stay here until level 2200. Next up, the Cookie Crafters. 
this mob has no aerial attacks, which means easy grind. Okay guys, we're gonna stay here until 2300, and after this, almost all mobs has no aerial attacks. I mean, the mobs that we're going to target. So again, we're gonna stay here until level 2300. Okay, we're gonna skip other mobs and head to the chocolate land. Again, the mobs here has no aerial attacks, like I told you. So I, I suggest you stay here until you reach max level. Why? Because guys, you can get conjured Coco if you want to defeat Doking, right? Anyways, this is Zoe 2, the final island. Mobs here has no aerial attacks too. So again, free hit, just use your Flamingo Ride. You can also use your V-Skill and that's it. We're gonna reach max level here, 2450. There you go. So guys, what do you think? Did you enjoy the video? I hope so. Here are the stats, max melee defense and blocks fruits. And guys, again to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.